Well, we can always blow the place up. I mean, it's still an option. Start fresh. Now is it ready? Being pumped by a bear. Abuse. Abuse, you guys. The world has seen it now. I'm abused by my wife. My wife abuses me. Get your steel toe crocs out of here. I don't think they're steel toe, but they're definitely closed toe crocs. They might actually be shop approved. Unlike Florida Man Cooper's. Uh oh. The heat. Because we're in Wisconsin and it's cold. Okay, so it should just lift out from it. It's kind of hanging on there. It's, uh, you got twisted, right? No, it's good. It's up. Straight up from it. Or bottom. Bottom. Pass it here. Please and thank you. Watch out, Dr. We're going to take that stuff off, if you can even see what the hell. If you can see what we're looking at, we'll see. We'll find out. We're trying to get the thick firewall. Yeah, we're going to get that whole black shit out of here. Just because we're going to tack some of those holes shut, because there's way too many. And we won't need that many. A lot of them are for some wiring in the air conditioning lines and shit like that. But we are not going to have that luxury, because we just want to go fast. Yeehaw. All right, 12's mic, is that what you think? Oh, Mike's about to uh, cut some pesky shit off. It's really not that interesting, but that bolt was just spinning on the backside. And Mike, I'm gonna hold this up and you're gonna try to send that. One down. Now, how are we gonna get this off? You want me to try and dremel that too? That's what I was thinking, or do you think it'd be easier to do something else? That one I can't help you with. Should we just drill that one out? That might be easier than dremeling it. Okay, maybe I'll go get you a drill. Okay. Well, how was your first dremeling experience? How big of a drill bit do we need? Stay there, Mike. Stay there, Mike. All right, we gotta get him some stuff. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that's too big. Don't need that. Um, half of these aren't worth a fucking shit anyways. This one looks like it. It's probably not big enough though. That one's fucking broke right off. Oh my god. Why is that even in here? Junk. Junk, I swear. How big are we talking, Mike? <laughs> How big of a drill bit you want? Uh, Try, does that look like it'll be close? I'll get the drill. Drill here. Oh, 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 we got a couple up there, yep. Fucking battery probably dead. <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta get your better. Yep, <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead as fuck. Uh, let's see. What's this battery at? Ooh, that one's pretty close to almost full. Three bars. Okay, where's our charger? What in the blue hell? Oh, there it is. It's right here. So many fucking chargers, grease gun charger, smaller battery charger for the sawzall, snap on charger, three bars, it'll work. Is that gonna be big enough? Is it, a, is it as big as the outside? All right, here we go. We're gonna try drilling this cocksucker. Don't break our nice rear view mirror. We're keeping that. Make sure it's tight enough, Mike. It looks like it's working. Look at this form. Look at this form. Probably the worst drill that I have. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're through the head. To be perfect. Oh well, no, not oh, quite. Boy. Not quite. Oh yeah, it's working though. It's working. Slow and steady wins the race, Mike. Just kidding. 
speed, speed kill. <laughs> Building a race car. Yeah. Hey, we're putting in safety measures. There will be safety features. Some. Some. Roll cage. That'll be the biggest. Pretty much whatever they make up to put in. <laughs> You're getting there, Mike. It's not working, dude. It's working. It's just slowly working. <laughs> I can see the metal moving. Yeah, it's digging a hole. It's digging a nice big hole. Uh oh, oh the battery might have to be snapped in. Unsnap it, re-snap it, drill it. Oh, dead as fuck. Oh, we killed the drill. What's it say on this? Oh, it's dead. It's fucking dead. It lied to us. Okay, well now what? You want a grinder? <laughs> <laughs> I think a grinder. I don't think the drill will work. Let me, just, let me just get you the grinder. We're gonna get him a grinder, folks. You hang on to this. Mike's gonna talk to you about things. What's up, gang? <laughs> Trying to get this uh, motherfucker out here. Let's see if we got the uh, flashlight here. Get some light on her. Yeah, um, drill uh, didn't quite make her through. We're gonna have to uh, grind that bitch off. But, as you can see, empty fucking car. Got a bunch of shit down there. Speakers out the back. Clear, clean as a whistle. Still gotta get the jack out. Otherwise, uh, no gas tank. Gonna figure out a fuel cell or fuel tank, what we're gonna do there. Gotta wait for Nate to get the grinder ready. This is the cloud in your face. It went on tight. And then a cutting mill on there, we do not want a cutting mill. Fresh, brand new, grind the piss out of it. What do you think about that? Brand new. Ain't been used yet. She's about to be used on her first job. Yep, put those safety glasses on, Mike. Clean them up. You have to plug this into the light props. A little bit. I mean, yeah. It, I mean, I got it to sink in. It yeah, just went on it tight. Good. It does feel good. He has faith, folks. Just don't catch anything on fire. It's not on, is it? Nope. Up is on. Down is off. Okay. Don't want it to kick on when I plug it. Got my safety glasses on, folks. This has just been a hassle. It hasn't been that big a deal. Oh, we have what? really only maybe worked at this for like five or ten minutes. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go for that. Yeah. <laughs> I 
rushing to get uh, a little prepped to do some sandblasting tomorrow on the engine bay and the subframe that's out on the other part there. And we will see how it goes. I don't know, I'm trying to collect as much of the sand as possible because I can reuse it. So the more I can collect, the more I can sandblast without having to buy sand. And also it's going to go fucking everywhere. So the more I can keep it from going absolutely all over the shop, the better. So I'm going to try to hang some curtains like from the garage rails and just see, you know, and they go down to the floor. So at least it won't be bouncing out all over everything unless it goes up and over. But yeah, we'll see how that goes. Try some sandblasting. I'm gonna make a little box to do the subframe. I've got some wood and I cut some already, cut some other pieces. And then we'll lay some plastic in there and hopefully the sand just doesn't absolutely destroy the plastic and I can, you know, just pick up the piece of plastic and all the sand with it. So that is the goal. But we will see how that goes. Same within here, you know, just lay out a bunch of plastic on the floor, keep peeling it up onto the next piece until I can get it onto one, and then just roll it all up into a ball and dump it into a pail over here. Um, my uncle before had already used some of this sand. Here's our sand blaster. I had to buy a new mask. Bought some fucking extra thick fucking hose. I should have showed you guys the inside of that. It's like a four ply hose, so it's like extra thick. And then I did some extra, I put a new pressure gauge on, air water filter, separator. And yeah, this is the old sand that my uncle had used once already. Silica sand is what he said on there. And then there was another pail actually out back too. And then we also got this, a fucking pipe bender. Thing is goddamn heavy. Probably at least 150, 175 pounds. Got it out of the car and got it in here and once we get this all prepped and we'll be soon ready to make roll cages and shit, which is exciting. We gotta get some pipe and stuff yet, but we're not quite there. Just trying to get some other stuff prepped and then yeah, we will go from there. So I will let you guys know and I think I'm a little more set up, right? Anyway, so what I got done is this is the, the box that I'm going to use to sandblast some stuff just so it doesn't get absolutely everywhere. We had this old piece of glass out of a combine laying around that I can use as a top and I can cut some holes down here for my hands to go through and that way it catches most of the debris and not fucking, it's just not everywhere. Because the more I catch, the more I can use, like I said before, I believe. And yeah, that's really all I got done. Took me way longer than I thought, but so did eating pizza. So much. We'll show the people what we've been working on. Ready to sandblast. Look at this big fucking booth. Probably can't see through the plastic here, but this is our sandblasting booth. That's my sandblasting box. We're gonna throw the subframe and some other little shit in there and sandblast it. And there's my booth. Hopefully it catches everything when we do the engine bay. Should catch most of it. We laid some plastic on the ground. Mike is gonna wire brush these spots because we really didn't want sand in the car everywhere because it's gonna get into like these pockets and shit. Not that we couldn't probably just vacuum it out. You have to try to peel some of this shit out too. Yeah, try not to gonna... take too much of this caulk off. Right, right. I just want to do that. Which kind of sucks. Well, but this you might have to here, and then we can just recalk re it. Yeah, yeah. caulking's pretty easy. Get some automotive stuff. All right, yeah, we'll see how things go, people. We got the dog. He's resting on his bed. Cool beans. Oh, what else was I going to show you? I got, we got our tool, a little 3 8 drive compact ratchet and a pretty good light. Pretty fucking bright. Just blinded the shit out of me. And Mike is taking some stuff off of our subframe. Yeah, first little weight off. Yeah, yeah, one weight off. Ones are, uh, Do you remember where it goes, Mike? Okay, good. Right See, there's but a little bit on the bottom on this side. It's not a sensor. It's a counterweight. It's just balance weight. We might want it. It's weight. No, we don't want weight. Extra we weight? weight Hell no! We, we do. Weight You're right. We do need weight up front. So, yes, it's probably going back on. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a bigger one! <laughs> go bigger, go home. Anyways, the rest of the booth. We just hung it over the garage doors. Clamp things as best we could. Cover the windshield. We'll take you inside, maybe. Well, let's go in the other door, but 
yeah, anyways, we're going to see how this goes. We'll probably just leave the walls up for a while because we'll have to sandblast and stuff. Sandblast and paint, I should say, not sandblast and stuff. We're obviously going to sandblast. Yeah, I showed them the little tool we got. Our cool light. It's too bad it doesn't have a magnet like this one. I always forget about this one, but it, this one takes batteries and that kind of sucks. That light's rechargeable. And now we have three of those. And when we go on like a race day or something, we can take that whole kit with us. But yeah, here's the booth. It's wild. I'm excited. A little scared. There's super four ply hose. Do the box stuff first and then get this out of the way. Go in here and see what we can hit. And yeah. Alrighty, and hopefully it doesn't get too much in here. We're gonna have to clean out our vacuum so we can suck up all our sand. But we will give you guys another update when we actually get somewhere. I might try to time lapse it. I don't know where to put the camera where it's not gonna get absolutely just pelted. I mean, maybe I can zip tie you guys right here or something if you want. But I don't want this getting too. I mean, there is a protector on there. It might work. Anyways, we'll see what you guys see.